It says we're starting, but okay. We are live. Good morning, everybody. If you are joining me live, thank you for joining me. I'm gonna go pull up my YouTube so I can see the chat. If you are watching later, that's what the heck I do at the beginning is always go try to see the chat because I like to chat with y'all. So I gotta go to my channel, I gotta find the video, and then I gotta make sure my sound is turned off so there's no echo, which it wasn't. And now I can join the live chat. Hi, Truth Seeker. How are you today? I promise this will be a longer video because if somebody calls, I'm going to make them go live on the air with me. I'm not going to cut it off this time. It wasn't even an emergency. <laughs> I see that we have a few viewers. Please say hi in chat. I love to see who has joined me. Just say hello real quick if you don't mind. And then I can see who has joined me this morning. How are you guys doing today? Are you out there? Getting some thrifting done? Are you listing? Are you having coffee? I made coffee this morning and spilled almost the whole cup. It really kind of saddened my day. So as soon as I get done here, I'm going to go. Hi, Erin. How are you? Thank you for joining. Um, I'm going to make another cup of coffee when I get done here because don't I seem low energy? I think I need some energy. No, I'm, I guess I'm kind of pumped up, but I still want coffee. I like coffee. Coffee is my friend. Okay, so <clears throat> I went to one estate sale today. I spent $53 at that estate sale, and I think I got some good deals. Now, <clears throat> when I buy a bundle at an estate sale, even though it is individually priced, to me, I count it as the bundle, if that makes sense. So I don't say to myself, oh, I spent you know, a dollar on these uh, pliers. I can show you how much they had the items priced at, but obviously since I paid a bundle, I didn't really pay that price. My clothes ended up being about 25 cents a piece. So we can go from there, and then I'll show you the prices they had on the other items, but as I said, since I only paid $53 total, I didn't pay those prices, so I don't count it as that. Well, hopefully I'll give you some motivation because today I'm very motivated. As soon as I get done here, I'm going to make that cup of coffee, maybe get a little bite to eat, and then I'm heading into my studio room, and I'm going to shoot pictures, and then I'm going to Netflix something while I list. And I'm going to try to list a lot today and tomorrow. So those are my goals. I've been doing a lot of inventory and cleaning. That's what I talked about in my little um, video vlog yesterday. But um, today I want to list, and because Monday I have to get right back to the organization. But I need to get stuff up. Hey, good morning, Reseller Revolution. Thank you for joining. How are you today? Oh, good. Where are you going sourcing at? Are you going to a bin? Or are you going out to an estate sale? What are you going to do today? All right, well, let's get into what I found today. I'll, I think I'll start with the jewelry first. I like jewelry because I like jewelry. <laughs> so um, I like jewelry, but I also like it because I can put it in my Etsy shop. I can put it on Instagram. I can put it on Poshmark very easily. And, um, and I can usually get a pretty good return on my money for it. So we'll start with... I gotta tell you, like I said, I paid $53 for everything, so I don't remember the exact price of these two pieces. Okay, but the first two is this little kitty. Ooh, can you see? With the green eyes. And this little doggy. Oops, they, oops, they were in one package. And they're both little brooches. Wait, see? Focus for a second. I hit my nail. That's why I don't like to do this. Ooh. Okay, so um, hi Eclectic Embrace, thank you for joining. Oh wow, that's a great sale. Um, we did not have 69 cent Salvation Army sales here, so I'd be going to that too. Anyway, um, little brooches at minimum can get like ten dollars a piece. This one is from the 1980s. As you see, they had it listed for $3, but I didn't pay $3. I probably paid like a buck for it, you know? And I checked it out. It's from the 1980s. Cats are 
big. You know, the internet loves cats. People love cats. And there's lots of cat people out there in the world. So when you can, get yourself cat stuff, okay? Anything cat, like just cat cells, okay? Um, the next thing I got, and they had this listed at $20, but it, I got more than half off on it. So I paid less than $10 for it. And the prices are all over the place on eBay on these. You're going to see anything from $13 all the way up to $50 on these. I am personally going to list this on Etsy. I'm going to put a fresh battery in it. I'm going to list it on Etsy, and I'm going to list it at around 50 But this is a 1980s swatch. I love swatches. Like, I wore swatch watches when I was a punk in the 80s. So... You know, keep an eye out for a swatch. If you can get them even cheaper, that's awesome. Swatch is a Swiss watch company. My camera doesn't want to show you anything today. It's because my lighting sucks. And so if you would like to donate professional lights to me and <laughs> or come do my videos for me and film me, that would be awesome. Anyway. Oh, Sabres has a 50% off too this weekend. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I might have to check out Sabres because I have some stuff to donate anyway. So might have to go by there. I also, as I told some of you in my teaser and stuff, I got this 14 karat gold. It's 14 karat white gold. I don't think I could work on QVC because I can't do this pretty. And diamond. See, I don't like my nails and lack thereof. Okay. Little heart pendant and chain. Um, they had that originally listed at $48. Again, I didn't pay $48 because I paid $53 total for everything I bought today. So um, I should be able to get $75 to $100 for that. I like to put the vent. That's a 1980s piece as well. I like to put those on Etsy. I do much better on Etsy. A lot of people on eBay want to just pay gold melt value prices, and I sell jewelry prices, which are higher than gold, gold melt value. So, yeah, I got some fun vintage purses. These are very much like the Whiting Davis purses, okay? They, they're like... But they're not Whiting Davis, at least not that I can see any tags on here that say Whiting Davis. Um, they, well, maybe I didn't see that tag down there. No, it's not. Anyway, they were asking three each. But again, I did not pay three. And see, so my, um, my Etsy fashionistas who like to wear vintage, vintage and stuff will love these purses. They will sell very easily for me. Um, you know, I, just without like even looking them up. Oh, this one might be Whiting Davis. It is. This one I'll get good money for. This one has a Whiting Davis tag in it. So with Whiting Davis, you're looking at, you know, at least, $30 range on um, a knockoff Whiting Davis. You still can get $15, $20. How much did you sell your Whiting Davis for? Do you know? See, I love Whiting Davis. This one is not Whiting Davis. It's a knockoff. But again, it's just got that look and people love it. So I'm going to get good prices on these little purses. And like I said, I didn't, I maybe paid a dollar, dollar fifty for these. See, yeah, you can get a good price on the Whiting Davis. They're a good vintage brand to look for. Okay, wait. What else is in there? All right. All righty then. Okay. Then I picked up this 1964 World's Fair, New York World's Fair tray. Trays are quite popular right now because, you know, people are setting up their vintage bars. Mad Men and stuff has inspired them to have vintage bars and bar-related items. Um, 
This was marked for, but again, I didn't pay for. I probably paid a dollar, two dollars total. Can I, you want to see the tag of the Whiting Davis? Yeah, sure. Just a second. Let me see if I can pull it out because it's kind of down in there. I don't know if I can. I will try to get a picture of it and post it in our group because I see it's down in there. See it? But it literally says Whiting Davis, and I, I can't pull it out to show you without accidentally maybe ripping it off. And I don't want to do that. So anyway, so back to the World's Fair tray. Um, yeah, I looked these up on eBay. They go for about 8 to $10. Again, if I wipe it up and everything and take a really cute photo of it, I think I can get closer to 15 on Etsy. So on my vintage, a lot of times I'm going to list it higher and I'm going to put it on Etsy. I'm going to get for, more money for it on Etsy. And the way I look at it is this. Um, eBay is like going to your big box store type of place. And Etsy is like shopping a boutique. And the people who shop at Etsy have that um, mentality too. So they're willing to pay a little bit more. But your pictures have to be really good. And you have to, you know, they're willing to pay more. But you need to know what you have. Be very knowledgeable about what you have. Take really good pictures and treat it like a boutique. Keep your items fresh, you know, stay active in your Etsy. Stay active everywhere. Being active helps you make money. Okay, so <clears throat> the clothes were literally, literally a quarter today. So I picked up these shoes on a whim. They said made in Germany. I just, all you can see is crap on the back of that shoe. <laughs> <laughs> I promise it says made in Germany. <laughs> anyway, um, and they're called Thin Comfort. It's not Firm Comfort, which I accidentally looked up, but Thin Comfort. And they are used, so you see wear on them, but I looked them up, and they still go for like $30 to $40 a pair. So... Always check out your sandals and stuff because I have no idea. Like good leather sandals at these estate sales and garage sales and whatever. I had no idea like how many people gave away very uh, <laughs> high-end leather sandals and so forth. All right. So I told you that, you know, you always see the same labels uh, over and over again in these haul videos. But I, get, I don't think I buy the same labels as other people because I don't mind buying clothes from older people and larger people. Those clothes sell and they actually sell pretty well. And I have less competition because everybody else is out there buying free people and anthropology. So I found that it's been working for me. So <clears throat> um, also funny t-shirts are weird t-shirts. So I have sold so many weird and funny t-shirts that I can't even tell you. So I saw this one and it's a lot like it's a 2x so you know anything XL and above those sell I like what <laughs> it just it just says bird shirt with like bird poop on so it looks like it says bird shit <laughs> I don't know why you just would want a shirt this is bird shit I don't know why but Weird and funny shirt sell. It's a 2X. It's just a basic t-shirt. There's no holes, no stains or anything. This is probably just, you know, like a $10 item, but I paid a quarter. So what can I say? Um, that is just a t-shirt for me to wear. I got like two shirts for me to wear. Okay. I haven't even looked up this brand so if you know this brand i don't like weird tea sell right it, eclectic embrace like i don't know why <laughs> people like it. my husband loves funny tea so if i find really funny ones i always give them to him if they're in his size um i haven't looked up la cabana or la cabana or whatever but this is this look like a really nice 100 percent rayon 2x hawaiian shirt 
really nice print. Hawaiian shirts can go for a lot, so I need to look up the brand because I need to see if this is one that sells. But I'm not sure, so we'll look that up. Oh, I have weird caps for you today, Eclectic Embrace. I have weird caps. Um, but at minimum, I expect to get at least 20 for that uh, Hawaiian shirt, okay? Um, there is a myth that bathing suits only sell during the summertime. And I want to tell you why that myth is dumb, okay? <clears throat> Because if you ship worldwide, it's summer somewhere always. <laughs> so if you ship internationally, somebody might want your bathing suit. On top of that, people who live in Northern California tend to go to tropical places during the fall and winter, and they have a hard time finding bathing suits at that time for their wonderful vacation that they're about to take. Give me one second. I want to close down Facebook so it quits dinging in your all ear, okay? Let me pull that up real quick and close it down. I, I open it so I can give you guys the link, and then I forget to close it. So I picked up a few bathing suits, and I, per, I do not know the brands. I'm going to assume on the conservative side that these will all go for about 15 bucks. They may go for more because I did purposely buy some larger sizes and these were all in excellent, if not new condition, like maybe she wore them once. So I have this one called Le Cove, okay? And it's a size 20. And one thing I know being a larger woman is that we like this skirt that is attached on the bottom to help, you know, kind of hide the hips and the booty. So um, kind of slim us a little, make us think that we're not as big as we are. So we're gonna assume these are 15 to 20 each. Remember, I paid a quarter, 25 cents. I like this one because I like the color. Again, I don't know the brands yet, and this one looks a little bit older. So I'm assuming this is at least 1980s. I'll look it up a little bit later. It's, Classic Janssen. Let's see. Classic Janssen. Oop. Okay. But look at the colors in this one. Oh, and what size did I get this one in? I tried to get all, you know, larger sizes. This is an 18. And again, it has the skirt. And the colors are just really pretty in this one. Then I got Honors Plus Sizes. I, I don't know these brands. I just like the suits. This is much older because we see the union tag. Did you like how I squint to show you guys something? That's a sign of how freaking old I am, people. Okay, this is just a nice basic black. There is no skirt, but I liked it. It was older. Oh, it is. That's an awesome vintage brand. I didn't even look it up. I thought for a quarter, you got to go for it. You know what I mean? Like, some, like really. I mean, if it was worth nothing, then I could just donate it. You know, I mean, it was a quarter. This is another vintage one but I don't see a maker's tag in it. So it might be Jansen as well. I'll see if I can look it up by the RN number, but see it has the union tag also. And this is a, a nice navy blue, but this has the more, um, the cut of an older bathing suit. See, um, you know who's the queen of vintage bathing suits is freaking Kayla from at Hazel Heart Vintage, that chick finds the best vintage bathing suits ever. So if you're looking for a vintage piece, make sure you check her out on Instagram or find her on Etsy or eBay. All right, I didn't even look for a, a label on these shorts because they were so 
classically vintage looking that I knew I needed them for a quarter. Oh my gosh, they're from the brand Chic. Chic was a good vintage brand. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Viva Las Vegas is great. I sell so much stuff right before Viva. If I get it up, I have to have this stuff listed in order to sell it. Um, anyway, look at these great chic vintage uh, shorts. They're like, I don't know. They just remind me of 90s shorts or something. I don't know. But I liked them. For a quarter, I had to go for them. Let's see. Oh, here is my cat one eclectic embrace. I. Okay, crazy cat ladies, people who are crazy for cats. This is a pajama. I didn't even check it for stains or anything, but it looks really good. Okay, and it's it's big, so I'm thinking it's like, it says one size, but I'm thinking it's like one size extra large to larger or something. But look at those cats. It's just a big t-shirt pajama. And the brand is Romans. You're saving your so warms up. I'm not saving mine. I like to put, I don't, you know, I don't do a lot of things seasonal. I just keep them up, you know, and I can't believe how much Christmas stuff I sold right after Christmas. And I didn't even really put it on sale yet because I had been on vacation, so I hadn't had time. Okay, largest sizes sell. And it's, <laughs> wasn't that a killer kitty pajama? I, I had to get it, like, right away. I was so excited when I saw it. I was like... Ah, people are gonna love this. So um, I got two of these little preppy sweaters with a faux um, collar. There's not really a shirt underneath it, just looks like, and they're both, I think they're both, yeah, they're both 3X. I do not know the brand. I didn't feel like I needed to for a quarter, because even at 10 to $15, like in, in my assumption that I could get 10 to $15, that's a really good return. So, I got two of them, one in black and one in red. Nice, like, little preppy-looking, you know, sweater and collar. I don't know why I got this, but I think we've talked about it many times that gaudy, um, embellished, <laughs> Um, I don't want to say ugly because somebody out there might find this absolutely stunning or beautiful, but it's not my taste, but people just like this. And this looked like, um, a more vintage name, maybe nineties or eighties. It's from tantrums and it's a three X and it's just a heavily rhinestone beaded vest, uh, denim vest. Again, for a quarter, I figured minimum 10 to $15 and maximum more. You know, like I could get even more for it. So had to go for it. Now, during the winter, I do really well with bathrobes. Yeah, tat, cat tees can go for more. I, I can, I, you can easily get $20 for a cat tee. Especially if they're vintage and I can put them up on Etsy too because like I said, Etsy people are going to pay a little bit more. They like the boutique feel. But yeah, I, cat, anything. I love cat. It does well. Anyway, I got this vintage Montgomery Ward. Montgomery Ward. Um, look at how pretty the colors and the flowers are in this. Like quilted bathrobe. Again, this was a quarter. I didn't check the pockets. I like to check the pockets. Sometimes you find money or stuff in pockets. But I haven't lately. But anyway, really pretty kind of teal color with lots of pretty flowers and stuff. And it's quilted and people love bathrobes. So therefore, I got not just one. I got two. Two. 
bathrooms. This one I've never heard of. I think they want to be Victoria's Secret when they grow up, but it's called Secret Treasures. But it was just really soft. The color was really pretty. It, it zips up. Now, one of the reasons people like bathrobes is a lot of caretakers need a way to easily help somebody they're taking care of, an elderly person or a convalescent. And so something that zips up the front very easily for them and yet keeps the person warm or whatever. The, you know, there's lots of reasons. And some people just like them for themselves or they too want a way to be able to dress and undress easily because they are older or convalescent. So um, that's one of the reasons. And I know that from working in retail because people will come up and ask me to help them find the bathrobes. Bathrobes in retail usually only sell until... Uh, January and then they are not sold the rest of the year. So they're they're very lightweight after that It's very hard for people to find a good bathrobe year-round. So put yours up on eBay year-round Help your customers. I only have a couple more things here And two of them are tools For a reason So I got this little I don't know the brand, but I just know that people like these vintage little jewelry box travel cases. This is called Wells Export. And originally it sold for $3.50. Look, it has its little original tag on there. Squinting my eyes again to help you all see. And see how it has nice little dividers? But... I saw these for $10, $15 all day long on Etsy. It's really nice. People still like them. They like to travel with them, keep things separate. It has a nice closure to it. My last two things are a couple of things that I like to pick up now just when I find them because I use them in, in my reselling business for myself and then it helps my job be a little bit easier if I have extras on hand. I paid less than a quarter for this. I've shown you one before. They are a sweater shaver. And recently it came in handy so much because I had sold a pair of Disney sweatpants and I had washed them with a brown sweater or something. And the sweatpants got these little brown looking balls of sweater all over them. And it looked like, like poop or something. <laughs> I don't know. And I thought, I can't send these out this way. And I was trying with the lint brush to get them off and I couldn't do it. So I went and got my little shaver and all the little brown stuff came off of them. And bye reseller. Have a good day. Find lots of good stuff. Thanks for joining us. Um, anyway, so if you find these, get these. You will love them. You can get rid of a lot of pilling on stuff. And people are going to ask you, is there pilling on the sweater or the sweatshirt or the pants or whatever? And a lot of times you can get rid of it before you even list it. So you don't have to have pilling in your um, in your description. So I'm blind because when you, when you get old, you can't see anymore. And I'm not really sure even how these work, but I'm going to figure it out. Wait, I'm going to try to figure out right now. But I got these little clip-on magnifying glasses that give me another two times the ability to see. So let's see if I can see that maker's mark now on these. I might not be able to because of the light. Let me see. I almost can. But these, again, were less than a quarter, and I thought, that's a handy little thing to have. I can almost read this. I just need more light. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It's Kramer, which is a very good brand in vintage jewelry. So, you know, when you can, don't don't just pick up stuff to sell. If you see a stuff like that you use for your actual work, 
Pick those items up too. For instance, some chrome polish in order to check your bake light items. If you see scrubbing bubbles, you can also use scrubbing bubbles. I like hand sanitizer because it can get a lot of the pricing tags off of things or even Sharpie off of things um, very gently actually. Um, you know, if you see Sharpies and you need them for the boxes, uh, I don't know, anything, uh, envelopes, uh, shipping envelopes, shipping supplies, pick those up while you're out there. It's great to pick up things you're going to flip, but remember, you can save on your actual office um, costs and so forth by picking up those items. So, oh, I did get one more little thing. I got a little teeny tiny deck of cards. And if you're in our little group, um, I know I know a lot of you aren't in the vintage group because it's a very closed group. But if you are a power seller and a top rated seller and you've been selling on eBay for two years or more and you want to be in a great little group called the advanced sellers group, I am the admin. It's a very private group. Send me a little message on Facebook. I'm Crystal Yeager on Facebook, uh, Y-A-E-G-E-R. Send me a little message and I can invite you into our group, okay? So, um, but you must be a power seller, you must be top rated, and you must be have been signed on eBay for two years or more because we do not like to answer newbie questions. It's a very quiet group and it's just for when you have some advanced questions you need answering. But in one of our groups, we play a game called Bingo. And <laughs> we put a little thing up where we try to challenge each other to list particular items that week that we have in our debt in our dead stock or we have to go out and source for it. So this week playing cards was on our bingo. So I picked them up. They were less than a quarter and they're little. So I thought that that's kind of cool. And they're brand new inside. So that that might sell. Anyway, that's all I have for my haul today. I'm going to go make my coffee now. I thank you all for joining me today. Does anybody have any questions for me before I go? Oh yeah, tape guns are really good. And, and tape, like packaging tape and stuff. Um, there's so many things, like just, just remember to look for your supplies while you're out there, you know, because it really helps you save money. And saving money, you know, we're in the profit and loss game. We are, so you want to maximize your, maximize your profit and minimize your loss. Loss is when you have to spend money on stuff. So if you can get it for cheaper by buying it at a garage sale or a state sale or a thrift store, do it, okay? Oh, my, I don't remember what my other sweater shaver is, but this one is called the Select Shaver. And... I don't know. I, I love my little sweater shaver. I forget what brand it is. I got it at a garage sale for like a buck or something. This one I paid less than a quarter for. It. So, yeah, I'm, I'm all for sweater shavers. And having extras on hand is great because if one breaks, you have another one still on hand. So, yeah, I'm all for having extras on hand, too. All right. Thank you guys very much for hanging out with me today. Uh, Kayla and I will be back on Tuesday morning at 9.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Again, as always, I'm not going to ask you what you guys all hate when YouTubers ask you to do. I'm not going to ask you to like or comment or share this video, but it's always fun when you do. And um, oh, and I, I can't believe how sweet you guys are. And I want to thank Bethany because last week she bought me a cup of coffee because there's a little button on my YouTube channel where you can send me a little gift if you want, a one, five, ten dollars, whatever. But she sent, sent me some money and told me to go buy some coffee. Thank you very much. And remember also, if you have a YouTube channel, please put it in your comments. I'd love to watch your haul videos as well. Have a great day. I hope you find lots while you're sourcing today and get stuff listed, okay? Have a great day. Bye-bye.